this is Coaster Zeke, the Coaster Zeke's videos. It's been a while since I've done a video by a guy, and I figured it was about time and got back before the camera and, and kind of did a video. Uh, I know the fans have been waiting for it for a long time, so I figured we might as well get down right to it. Today we're going to be going in a whole other direction. No gun reviews, no shooting guns, at least for this time. You know, we're not going to be pissing off the gun snobs anytime soon. Well, down the road we will be. I know, I know they're looking forward to it. But anyway, uh, today we're going to be doing a little review of the Presto Cool Touch Electric Griddle. Not necessarily a product review. Basically, it's showing that any idiot can cook goddamn breakfast. You know, it's, it's real easy to buy that goddamn microwave of bullshit, you know, pay up the ass for it. Anyway, that's basically what it looks like. Bring it before the camera here. It's real lightweight, so you can pick it up like that. And this, of course, plugs right into it. You just set it to your temperature setting. And then this pilot light here will come on. Well, it'll be on as soon as you, uh, as soon as you put power to it, as soon as you uh, turn the heat dial off. And when the pilot light goes off, then your cooking surface is hot enough to cook. Pretty, pretty freaking self-explanatory. So we'll just get that plugged in there. We might just want to start getting her ready, by God. And you can use an extension cord, which I do, but you have to use one that's rated the same as the, that for the griddle. Like I said, maybe I didn't say. You can pick that up for. Roughly, making sure our set temperature setting here is right. Yeah, you want it between about well, three, about well, between three, three twenty-five and three fifty uh, degrees for uh, for bacon. By God, we're gonna be cooking a little bacon here today. I might just go get her out there. Get right down to the goddamn bacon cooking deal. Check our time on the camera because we don't have a real long account. I don't have one of those real jumbo sized accounts. But anyway, I figured it was time to do a video, by God. And when I first bought the griddle, the griddle like I said, 20 bucks at Walmart, didn't know how to cook on it, read the instructions a little bit. I had the microwave guy up until then. So what, so what I did is I watched some YouTube videos on guys making breakfast. Scrambled eggs and the whole nine yards. I always figured if you could find some fucker wearing a chef's hat, they probably know what the fuck they're doing, to some degree. So, just kind of went with that. Anyway, that's just kind of how it is. Now, I was going to bring in a, a female assistant. And, you know, they're good in the kitchen, so, you know, to kind of assist with the cooking and the whole, break, the whole breakfast bacon deal and the whole nine yards. However, she called it a night right before I was going to do the video. We're doing breakfast at night, by God. You got to shoot videos when you can. But anyway, she was going to come in. But see, she called and said that she couldn't make it in because her, she had to take her son into the ER. Apparently, apparently he broke his ankle today while competing in the regional spelling bee. I know. Sounds like kind of an odd situation to have happen, but. Uh, her kids are a little bit accident prone, so you know it's just a couple weeks ago. But I got her, her daughter chipped her tooth and broke her glasses at her piano recital. So you know it's one of those kind of things. And, and then we got a situation that goddamn video assistant of mine. If, you know if you you guys the people who have watched coaches eat videos before know about that goddamn video assistant of mine. He isn't very goddamn reliable. That's for goddamn sure. And. I, he was going to assist in this video, but then he called today and said he wasn't going to show up because he was all down on himself. Apparently had a date that went really south last night. He was on his, on his second date with a woman. He was trying to make that big splash. Great impression. And took her out to buy a guy at Denny's restaurant. Said everything was going good uh, until he, he had that one of them great big jumbo sized Sundays and he forgot that he was lactose intolerant. And he said some he said some fucker was tying up to John and he said he he done shitty britches right there in the goddamn restaurant. And 
And, and he told me, he said it was a son of a bitch. Zeke, he says, he said, it's awful goddamn hard to get second base with a woman, but when you got a pants full of shit. And I can only imagine that that would be true. Uh, I'm going to see if our pilot light went off yet. Not yet. Oh, the other thing he did tell me about. He's got one of these goddamn griddles to him. He told me he likes to pull this fucker out that catches the grease. But cool for a while, he likes to drink the bacon grease. He's a kind of a strange fucker. He also, he also really likes the Fruit Loop sandwich. So, uh, it's just, I don't know. I'm hoping he'll help me with my next video. My next video is going to be destroying this motherfucking HTC Wildfire cell phone of mine. I know it's all kind of off the subject, but there is a worthless piece of shit for you kids. I think it's probably going to get taped to this Tannerite rifle target. Two and a half pounder. That's kind of what I think might happen there. Be like a freaking magician trick. It'll be like poof! Cell phone no more. Going back to a dumb phone. Long way to go, kids. We're waiting for our pilot light to go off here. By God. Gotta get Pam. By God. Keep that away from the heat source. You know. Oh, there we go. We're ready to bacon, by God. It's just, we're not too goddamn professional around here, so. And I know some people do a continuous spray, but. Now remember, we're talking fucking Zeke here, you know. It doesn't all go as smooth as it does on the cooking shows. It's what it is. Just let me know how it is, my guy. This is not your professional cooking show. Also, you want to cook. You want to clean your hands and wash your hands real well before you ever prepare food. This is just makeshift. It's just for you guys who don't think that you can cook. You can't actually cook with something as simplified as this. You actually can do it, kids. That damn right. This is not Martha Stewart cooking show, and this sure as fuck is not Chef Ramsay. That's the goddamn sure. Just let me know where it's at. We'll get one more of these dumb bitches on here and I'm gonna cut that one down the side a little bit. You do these ones on the side, you don't have quite as much area. Well, we're gonna check our time on a camera here. And see if we can zoom up on our what we got going on here. Last night I was sliding the camera trying to do it that way. I know we're going to lose some clarity doing this, but you can kind of see the bacon cooking by God there. And it's got her going on. You're thinking this is freaking coaster deep cooking. This can't be good. There, you know, I, I know what everybody's thinking. They're just waiting for the fire to break out. Well, trust me, the fire department is on alert. But anyway, we're back, and I'm going to try something different because you probably can't see too much, actually. You kind of zoom up on it. All right, we're sliding. You know, when you don't have a video assistant, sometimes you got to slide up the damn camera manually like that. There we go. Freaking bacon cooking, kids. We're going to probably kill the footage before we're done cooking bacon here. Because all you got to do is... Just However much you want it cooked. I like mine extra crispy so it's gonna cook a little more. You know, you got but you gotta cook it good enough too so you don't have a, by God, you know, food poisoning, that's not a good situation. So But uh, when it gets pretty well browning and cooking pretty good there, then you just flip it over. It's as simple as that. 
The pilot light will come on back on from time to time. It really doesn't matter because your cooking surface remains hot enough. I'm just going to pull back here so I can do a little bit more of a might do a little a little bit more bullshit gap gabbing around here. The other thing about that video system, I bet you I wasn't even in the camera real well. We slide that to where we're making sure I'm my ass is in the, in the camera. Not that you really want to see me, but fuck, you know, we might as well be there. But anyway, that video assistant of mine, getting back to The other day we were going to do a shooting video down there in the goddamn, down by the farm pond. And he called that night too. And he said that he was ill. He said, he, he said that he had been just diagnosed with anal glaucoma. And I asked him, what the fuck is that? And he said, that's a situation where you go down to the proctometrist and, and, and he gives you a goddamn note to give it to your shift manager that says that you really can't see your ass coming in the work. Now, I know that's not Coach Zeke original. I saw that on YouTube. Whoever had that joke, kudos to them. It's a great joke. I'm just borrowing it. That is not original Coach Zeke video uh, 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 joke. And so when I do something that's not original, I will give credit, or at least say it, it ain't mine. So, don't think it was a professional comedian or anything, but whoever it was, that's pretty awesome actually. That's funny and shit, but. Good to see that somebody on YouTube has a good sense of humor like I do. Sometimes you'll get the old bacon sticking together there and you gotta kinda make shift that deal. Well, flipped her right out of the deal. Anyway, I think we're about ready to kill the footage here. Might just show a little bit more on this, but we'll bring the camera up one more time. And you're thinking, well, this is really primitive. I know. When you got a video assistant, it ain't worth a fuck. It's what you get. Yeah, we're, we're doing her pretty good, and I know, you know, I better get that off there pretty damn soon and kill the video footage, or somebody will say, hey, man, man, you're, 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 you're burning the bacon, man. Yeah, I wonder if there's, like, some, if, they, if we have griddle snobs, like the gun snobs. Oh, God, I sure hope not. I could just, you know, what, what would they be like? It'd be like, man, Presto, man, hey, shit. Roy Hill is the only way to go, and besides that, you're a dumbass, and you'll probably burn down your fucking house. You shouldn't even be allowed to have a grill. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder if they're out there. God, I mean, I don't know. Some people just need Xanax, I guess. Anyway, cooking about by God done. And I'm done.